wanted to talk today about a uh, pet peeve I have around some of the language that goes into lung point of care ultrasound. So for those of you who are interested, as I am, in using lung ultrasound as a way to investigate kids with fever and cough for consolidation, for pneumonia, we'll often talk about everything that we see under the plural line as a subplural consolidation. Even these um, little one centimeter or less uh, dark areas that may or may not have that punctate hyperechoic air within them, we call a subplural, subcentimeter consolidation. And we always have, since the beginning of this point of care lung ultrasound literature, labeled those things as consolidations. And you'll have people talking about, well, how can we distinguish which ones of those are infective, which ones of those are pneumonia, from which ones of those are atelectasis. And people will talk about the uh, static or dynamic nature of air bronchograms. But they're still talking about something we're labeling as a consolidation as potentially atelectasis. And if you go back to x-ray literature and radiological literature, these things are really distinctive things. You would not say that this area of atelectasis on a chest x-ray is a type of consolidation. So my plea is that we adapt our language to recognize that not all of these lesions that we see connecting to the pleura uh, should be called consolidations and that we shouldn't be calling some of these consolidations likely atelectasis but perhaps use that term subplural lesion instead as we begin to better understand which ones of these things truly are atelectasis, how do fluid bronchograms predict which ones are consolidative or not, and the state of our understanding progresses, so too should the state of our language. So uh, if you like these kinds of conceptual ideas, uh, I encourage you to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.